Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe, and I wanted to talk about Mirror Mirror. Uh, unbeknownst to me, this actually has three sequels. I've seen the second one, which was terrible. Um, I think the third one I can't really find, but the fourth one is on Amazon Prime, so I'm going to give that a whirl soon. Uh, this was put out by Dark Force Entertainment from DarkForceSuperstore.com. Uh, they also did, this is probably one of their best releases along with Freeway 2 and uh, Backlot Murders I like a lot with Corey Haim. Though I think Freeway 2 and this is probably their best releases. Um, it stars Karen Black and Rainbow Harvest, which is her real name. She sort of looks a little bit like Winona Ryder. So uh, this movie is about these people, Karen Black and Rainbow Harvest, who is her daughter, I want to say it's Megan, and they move into this new house. The mother sort of has some I guess, mental problems, and she's trying to kind of start fresh, and I think the, the husband had died recently, so they're out of sorts, and all these strange things start happening in the house. Um, there is this antique mirror that is in Rainbow Harvest's bedroom that was left with the home that they uh, got when they purchased the house, and there's something weird going on with it. Uh, as the film plays out, Rainbow Harvest is having it, or Megan, is having a, a hard time making friends. Uh, the people in school sort of mean to her. She does make some friends, but, you know, they get, like, picked on, and um, she looks kind of goffy. She has, like, dyed black hair with, like, blonde underneath, and it's, like, sort of shaved um, with, like, a lot of black on. She looks sort of like a Lydia Dietz-type character from Beetlejuice. And um, she starts to say things to the mirror or in front of the mirror, and they start to happen. Um, I don't want to say too much and spoil it all, but uh, obviously the mirror has this sort of evil power to it, and what she says starts to come true, and then it starts to start kind of, you know, fold in where now there's bad things happening to her or happening to people close to her, and it gets all kinds of, you know, crazy. Um, it's a movie that came out in 1990, definitely has that 80s maybe. It's really more of an 80s vibe. Uh, I'm sure even though it came out in 1990, it probably got filmed in like 87, 88. Um, Karen Black is pretty good in it. She plays the good kind of wackadoo type mom. I thought Rainbow Harvest was pretty good. I think if this is a movie that maybe you, for some reason, caught like in your angsty teenage years or early in college, uh, you probably could relate to some of like, you know, the maybe getting bullied, not having friends type of atmosphere. Um, you know, she feels a little bit like an outcast in a way, new person to a new state uh, in a new school. But it has this cool, creepy, you know, evil mirror element. There is some demonic stuff going on. It's just a fun little um, sort of under-the-radar horror gem uh, that most people haven't seen. Uh, I cannot recommend the second one. It was really bad. Um, I think the mirror is back, but it's just random dancing and crap that I don't care about. It was, it was a really poor movie. Uh, this one goes for about 20 bucks, roughly. I think I got it for 15 with shipping from a guy on Facebook. So not a bad deal. Um, what else did I want to talk about it? Uh, it's, it says there's a stunning new HD transfer, which was created from an original pristine 35 millimeter negative. Uh, it looks really good. Sadly, there are no subtitles. We do put subtitles on in this house when we watch movies, just to kind of, in case you miss something or you can't hear something. Um, I tend to play movies very loud, and my wife plays them a little bit lower. Uh, the only thing I will say I thought was weird was when you went to put the subtitles on, it said G-U-J, which is Gajutari or Gatari. It's a whole other language that I think is Ar uh, Arabic, and... Um, there are no subtitles, but it listed that on the movie. Um, so kind of weird, but there are no subtitles at all. Looked good, sounded good, cool little under-the-radar horror movie. It's not going to like blow your socks off, but it's definitely like a good, weird horror movie that you probably haven't seen. So I would recommend Mirror Mirror. I enjoyed it. My wife didn't like it. She said the first part of it was good, and then it went downhill for her. Um, but... Tell me, guys, if you've seen Mirror Mirror, what you think. I think it's cool. Thanks, guys, for watching. It's Vampire Mike from Sega CD Universe. Be good.